with specifically El Salvadorians, like the, the, the person that runs the pupuseria and they're accepting Bitcoin, which is great. There's a place in El Zonte that does vegan pupuseria. It's, it's fantastic. Um, how is the education or how do you, or, or in terms of getting El Salvadorians to realize it's not just about accepting Bitcoin and how you can use it to pay for things, which that is, that's, that's pretty amazing that you yourself are like, barely using fiat anymore, but how are you getting across and how is it being accepted? The concept of save a little, put a little Bitcoin aside and save it for the long run, because in the short run, it'll go like a year ago, it was at 19. Now it's at 52, but conveying to El Salvadorians, and this is a tough thing to convey to anybody, yeah. <laughs> but like, cause I had some friends that bought it three years ago at 50, 60,000. And then when it dropped to 19, they're like, ah, uh, you know, and I'm like, just hang on to it, man. Yeah. Like hang on to it. I, you know? Yeah. So how do you, how, how are you conveying that? And how is that being received of like, put some aside because when Bitcoin gets to a hundred thousand, 200, 500, a million, even if you have three, four, 5% of a Bitcoin, you're going to have a lot of money. How is that being taught? And how are people like, are they getting that? Are they, are they realizing the value and power of that, the saving in the long run? I think they do. It's, it's again, it's a process. Not everybody gets it the first time, mm -hmm. but especially let's say someone in El Sonte, if you go and ask a lady, oh, last year, let's say when the price went to 19 and they're like, oh no, we saw it at 20 and then we saw it at 60. And then like, so it depends on where you go here in El Salvador. So probably that people is getting a start. But now that we have, you know, you know every year that passes, you have more data and we can show them the cycles. Mm -hmm. It's like, this is what it is. You want to see what a Ponzi scheme is and you can show them the graphic of another crypto, right? Like that's a Ponzi scheme. <laughs> <laughs> so it's exactly how it goes. And we, we do teach that also the cycles and what it's limited. And we explain, you know, the, what the halving is in the process like, you know, this is what it means. But because we explained what a scarce money can do or it is, you know, how it changes. And then they realize, okay, if this is, you know, over time, it's going to increase the value. The price of Bitcoin is not going to go just because, right? It's also because of how it works. So that's how people understand. Oh, okay, yeah, I can hold in it. But it's it's like you said, here in El Salvador, even you know, if the minimum salary is three hundred ninety dollars, it's hard to save anyway. Right. So if you receive your salary and it's just three ninety, I mean, to save up five dollars is already a challenge, especially if you're a mother, a dad, and yeah. have to pay it and everything. So it's mostly also the fact that the inflation so you have one dollar you want to spend it you know that is why you're gonna save money it's so hard for you to save five ten twenty a month to keep you know some cushion and anyway in one year that's not gonna work the same like a hundred dollars that are very hard to save for you didn't so that's why we try it's like you don't need to buy one bitcoin you just have five dollars to save. fine just keep leave those five dollars check it out in three months, five months, even if it's just $1, you're going to see that it's more, it's not less. And that's how they start. Oh yeah, I see. Like, even if it's just cents. So of course they realize, okay, if I said 10, that means that I will have more. And it depends on the level and where they at and what the income is. But people understand that now, even with the cycles, you're saving for the future, right? You're not saving for tomorrow. You're not saving for next month. So they are understanding I think it's just when we explained scarcity, when you, mm. we explained cycles, that's what it gets into their minds some more than others. There is younger people that probably have more incentives of saving for one year and they have done it probably. And then one year is a year, right? So they, they see the cycles and that they are basically orange building their parents and it's just a chain of everybody trying to, to do their part.